Hey there After Effects buddies, wanted to try out the new content and wear fill in After Effects. So here we go, we've got a dancer. Okay, but look, we've actually really got two dancers. There's Marina there dancing away in the background. Okay, so let's see if we want to achieve this. Okay, what can we do? So let's just go and I'll just go back to this original layer here. And I really did this really quickly and simply. I just took the uh, ellipse tool and I did quite a loose mask, you know, around Marina here. So let's just take this, make this a bit bigger. Just again. And what I'm going to do is make this mask a subtract mask in here and on the mask path I'm just going to press M there to get the path I'm just going to add some keyframes to this so let me just um, put it on non for now just so I can see what I'm doing and there's goes moving here so what I'll do is I'll just take a add a couple of keyframes and just really you know just doing this really kind of so it just needs to be over here a bit I'm trying to keep this as quick and simple as possible really and then okay a little bit further that way let's get the hand in all right and then because i could use the rotoscope or do a much more detailed track with the mass tracker but yeah i just want to see how quick and easy this new feature is which uh there we go seems very good oops go back to my uh, composition there there we are. So, don't want to spend a lot of time going through this. Yeah. That should do it. Pretty much in that mask all the way through. Just a little bit there. I'll move that a tiny bit. I think we're good. Close enough for jazz. Okay. So I'll make that a subtract mask and then I can find the content aware fill uh, in here. If not, I can go to window and choose it from here, content aware fill. And I'm going to set it to object work area. And I'm just going to simply click uh, generate fill layer. So I'm going to click on that and it'll take a moment to analyze. So we'll speed through this section. Okay, so it's finished its analysis. It's now rendering a background. Now, uh, you could generate a fill layer, which we'll look at probably later in a more detailed tutorial. This is just a quick test. Uh, so I'll generate a reference frame, which we could do in Photoshop. But this seems to have worked okay. Could get away with that, no problem. So there you go. So nice content aware fill great new feature of After Effects. Thanks for watching, buddies.